Well, you all know that sleep is an essential part of a healthy lifestyle, but it may also make or break your weight loss attempts. New studies show sleeping soundly is key to losing the pounds naturally. And we have Dr. Joy and Dr. Roy Martina, authors of the new book, Sleep Your Fat Away. They're here with some tips to get that much needed shut eye. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, which we certainly need. We were saying already, morning show <laughs> hosts, we need the sleep. Uh, lots of times come in lacking it. Um, and you, it's a huge detriment. To Absolutely. a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, and what's very important is that scientific research shows that the less sleep you get, the bigger the chance to become overweight. Mm -hmm. It's even so if you get less than five hours sleep a day, you have 50% more chance to be obese or overweight. So it's, sleep is very, very important. Now, you guys are a couple. What made you decide that this was a book you guys wanted to uh, put together? Well, we know that obesity is becoming a really a worldwide epidemic with every third person in the U.S. being obese. It's really a problem that we wanted to address. So we've put all our knowledge and research and wisdom together into this book to really help people get a profound uh, introduction into a completely new way of losing weight that comes from the inside out rather than try and get another diet. All those bad diets. Absolutely. So what is your advice to people? Well, my main advice for the first tip I'd like to share with the audience is that it's important to have a transitional time between being extremely busy and stressed out mm -hmm. and going to bed. Mm -hmm. So you need to make your bedroom like a sanctuary. So that means that you should keep everything that's work-related out of your bedroom. Okay. So tip number two is keep the screens out of your bedroom. Yes. And that's yeah. tablets and your phone and but your TV. Even television. Which is so tough these Absolutely. days. Everybody's glued <laughs> yeah. to that, that phone. And, and some scientific uh, study from Harvard shows that the blue light from the screens actually keeps your brain in an active mode and that will give you problems with sleeping. Okay. And especially for teenagers as well. They are on the screen right. all the time, but we We're do it the same thing. Yeah. Doing homework as well. That's a tough thing to do. How long before you go to bed, realistically, should you be turning off these devices? Well, at least half an hour beforehand. Okay. So you need to give your brain time to transition into the sleep mode. And the blue light, as Dr. Roy was saying, is something that's going to keep your brain awake because it thinks it's daylight. Mm -hmm. So you need that half hour to get into the bedroom and then in the bedroom. Make sure you could, for instance, eat one of the foods that we've brought to right. Right, you guys brought us some uh, little options here. Teas are a good option. A lot of I know a lot of There's people that do kind of go to those herbal teas. That's right, chamomile tea or lavender tea or St. John's Wort is a good option. But also to have a late night snack just before you go to bed is a good idea. And we're talking about a handful of food. Okay. <laughs> but for instance, if you um, do a nice trail mix with some walnuts, some sunflower kernels, some pumpkin seeds, those are all foods that contain tryptophan that will help your brain relax. Which is what I always think of as Thanksgiving. The tryptophan and the turkey. Is that <laughs> true, true. Another option is also some dairy products. If you can take dairy, they mm -hmm. also contain tryptophan. So an old classic is having a turkey sandwich with milk. While we're talking about the food, just uh, so I don't get off topic here, one of the things that you really want to steer clear of from food is the sugars, right? Yes. Eating sugar before bed, which Absolutely. is tough for a lot of people. <laughs> I love a piece of chocolate or something <laughs> before. And what we also uh, have as special gift is to start to calming you down mm -hmm. so it's it's a nice kind of a CD where you start listening to because a lot of people don't have time for meditation right but listening to a soothing voice that really talks to you and prepare you to go to sleep and we thought it was a great idea to give all or for you, this is a gift as well. So we're talking about that. eating before bed, yet the title of the book is called Sleep Your Fat Away. Sounds kind of contradictory, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Could you explain the title? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what we found is that as we all have very stressful and busy days, we, as Roy was saying, don't often have time to do the meditation and the brain training during the day. So we found, as, uh, as we believe, unique and revolutionary way of training your brain during the night. When you're actually sleeping, you let an audio that's running all night do the brain training for you. So if you can push play on your smartphone, you can do <laughs> you this can program do because then yeah. you can use those nightly sleep hours in a really effective way to get your brain trained to do the work for you. And then you literally can sleep your fat away. Now, how long are we talking sleep-wise? Because, uh, again, coming from a morning show host, we, a lot of us sleep in these segments, not, not well, not well organized. Um, what, how much sleep should we be getting each night? How many hours? Well, you would need between seven and eight hours sleep, but 
fact, uh, it's not only the amount of hours, it's also how effective you sleep. Right. And that's one of the things that we also encourage is by listening to something that really, it's Soothing. like a little child getting a story, bed night story, and you go, you go away and you sleep deeper and more effective, you wake up more refreshed and with more vitality. Right, so Well, important. thank you so thank much you for so being much with for us. The in. book is called Sleep Your Fat Away. Real quick, mm. how out, can we purchase this? Out officially Tuesday. <laughs> Absolutely, it's coming out on the 21st of April, which is Tuesday, but you can already go on Amazon and you can pre-order it. The Kindle version is already ready and we're, we're just very excited to be now coming out with this. But turn that Kindle off before you go to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good point. <laughs> And remember the free gift for everyone. You can go to the website and get... Yeah, go uh, to Fox well. Carolina's website. You get our free download of Sleep Well and Easy to help you make that transition even easier. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. You're we'll so link welcome. that to our site, fox46charlotte.com. Much more ahead. Stick with us here on Good Day Charlotte. We're back right after this.